Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to my introverted life. I'm Wendy. I am back after just a few days, actually putting in some cross-stitching. Super excited about that. Even though it took me a couple extra days to get a little bit more work done, I seem to have pulled a muscle on my arm or something. Spent one day sitting on the heating pad, spent the next day taking it easy and inhaling a bunch of Bengay fumes all day long. So now that it is mostly better, I decided to put in a little work limiting myself to just an hour. I don't like the fact that I am only limited to just an hour, but I was already kind of slightly filling it in my shoulder, so I knew I had to stop anyways. Brain over shoulder, brain over shoulder. Wants over brain? That one's the hard one. Want over brain. Want over brain. Yeah. Want and brain, not in the same place. Want over shoulder, definitely not in the same place. So, doing what I can. And what I did do was finish up the dark in here. I pulled in a little bit of the white using it in here. And you can slightly see I literally just went over the stitches that were already there. I was not pulling out the other stitches. Come on, people. What type of person do you think I am? I am not that type of person. I'm just putting the stitches in over, but it kind of filled it in here with the coloring, and she no longer looks like an alien head. She's her 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 head is um a, a little bit more human shaped now. She's not quite so. Uh, her forehead was like woo. Yeah, that that wasn't working. So I finished off the strand of white and have started putting in. It's got a purplish hue to it, but you don't really see it very well. Um, if I record these in daylight, you know, when the regular daylight's coming in on the um, through the window, you can kind of see the coloring a little bit more, and it's not quite as blending in with the fabric um, because of you know fake lighting but I did put in an hour got a little bit done excited dark color is done bluish tinted color is done I am finishing working on the purplish color now there's a little bit more here and then there'll be some purpley streaks here I will finish up the white and then I'm actually gonna go down to here and look into um, kind of maybe adding in some white color, but I'm thinking of pulling out some of this and then putting in some white over it just to um, lighten up that section just slightly. It ended up just a little too solid with just the two colors there. I don't know why. It works okay with color, but with the color palette that I chose for her hair, eventually settled on for her hair. It's just not working for me. It's not like it's horrible. It's really not horrible. I don't know. I just feel like I want a little bit more of the white. Just kind of through. And then it'd be like you just get more of an impression of her having white hair versus mm, whatever color hair cuz it's it's like supposed to be kind of white hair but like she's you know she lives in the sea so her hair's you know it's the sea it's salt water you know so it's affected her hair tone her hair color it, it kind of makes it grungy or grimy or something like that you know so while it's white and it's obviously white it's still not white white you know if that makes sense i don't know it does in my brain oh, oh, grungy white yes grungy white i figured it out grungy white speaking of grunge if you're a grunge rock fan you know a little old school uh check out j-hope new uh new video music video up you can find it on youtube called more 
it's it's a little old school hip hop with some grunge rock. It's good. It's really good. Uh, it is Korean in Korean. Uh, mostly the kind of rap verses are in Korean, but the oh what would it be called the 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 chorus the chorus is actually in English. So still really really good. Totally, totally recommend it. Anyways, uh, five minutes in, because, you know, I always spend about five minutes talking about absolutely nothing. We should be well aware of this by now. Uh, what well, should take me two seconds to come on. See, look what I did. Look what I did. That's what I got for you now. I should be back soon, hopefully tomorrow. Tomorrow is the plan. Work on this a little bit more. Get a little bit more of the hair done. I should be back then. That is the plan. Don't know if I'll be able to execute it, but I'm going to try. So, either way, I will see you in a sec. Okay, so quick update. Super quick update. Hopefully. Um, yeah. Let's face it, my brain isn't normal. It doesn't work normal. But that's who I am, so... Yeah, I wish it was normal. I'm tired of forgetting things. Anywho, put in... About an hour worth of work on this last night. Uh, discovered that I had finished all of the purplish color. I thought there was some more in here. Turns out there's not. Everything we are doing is now in white. So, coming across here, there is actually a thread. Um, showing you my backside. Yeah, it's in the back right now for some odd reason. I'm not completely sure why. Oh, I know why. I'll show you why in a sec, but, um, yeah, so, uh, just getting white done, um, usually I kind of try and follow it down and back up, and it, it's just kind of a pain at the moment, there's no real good path to follow, so I'm just going back and forth across, um, which actually is working really, really well for me at the moment, it, um, because there's just, like, a few stitches here and there to fill in. Um, there is a bunch of color, white color up in here, so, um, that'll probably be done. Kind of a little section of its own, but, uh, the reason my, uh, thread is in back was because I actually pulled out a lot of the stitching around here. Because I'm changing it over to white. Um, most of what I pulled out, I had put in because, see little blue stitches, they blend in. You can't see them. So I wrapped the, uh, deep gray, which actually kind of has a brownish tint, I think, to it. I don't know. It's got kind of a greenish tint to it, is what it actually has. Um... On my camera, it has a brownish tint. It does not in real life. It has a greenish tint. But I'd wrapped it around to fill it out so you can actually see the blue in there. What I'm actually going to do is go over that in white and fill in the bit over here that I pulled out. That was normally part of it as well. But just, yeah. Fortunately, there's this white blob right here. Which means the white might not be seen in that little bit right there, but at this point that white don't care that much about. It'll simply be to fill in the hole so that it does not look... I don't even know what the term is for that. All the little holes which are not showing up at the moment because there's no light behind them. Anywho... You can kind of see them. See how the holes are open a little bit more? Ah, there we go. There we go. See how the little holes? We want to fill those in. Anywho, yeah, uh, three minutes. I Not quite as quick as I wanted it, but that's what we got for now. So, um, hopefully I'll see you... Well, I will see you here in a second. Hopefully it'll be filmed today or tomorrow, and you'll see a lot more of the hair filled in. So, see you in a sec. And I found a little bit of time to put into it today. Figured I would, but with me, you never know. 
Uh, yeah, I put in probably strand and a half, couple strands. I don't remember what I did, but the white was done to about here, I think. And I filled all this in. It looks really bubbled up on this camera. I swear it doesn't look quite that bad in real life. I don't know, maybe it does. But yeah, I've got this bit here to fill in, which I intend to do tomorrow. I think I can accomplish it, I really do. And then get the white in down here, and then there's a back stitch around her face. Which I could actually do pretty much any time since this is all filled in now. But, meh, yeah, you know, that requires me to actually take the time to backstitch. <laughs> I don't mind backstitching, I just, that's not what I'm focused on right now. I want to get the hair done. I want to get the hair done. So, yeah. That is where that stands right now. Uh, this is just like a minute and a half, and that's where I'm going to leave it. So, I should see you. Should be tomorrow for me. That's the plan. Either way, it'll be sick for you. So, see you in a sec. And part four is finished. As you can see, hair, I filled in a little bit more color here. There's a lot more hair than there's supposed to be. Like, seriously, it's supposed to be mostly kind of like that. But the coloring with the color here wasn't working, so I just kind of filled it in. I kind of like there being white down there as well. Kind of give more of the impression with the white. Almost like her hair is white, but she's been in the water, so it's got the ickiness of, you know, discoloration from being in the water. That kind of concept. Um, I do like the way the coloring turned out. I just, it's this part here that's bugging me. It's just not working right, but unless something happens in my mind, it's staying like this because I am so sick of cross-stitching that part because I have cross-stitched it a thousand times. Um, so yeah, it is what it is at this point. It is staying. It is fine. Who cares? It's highlight. We'll go with that. But hair coloring is done. Back stitch on the face is done. As you can see here, part five is already done because that was part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. Yes, part, I think part six is this guy here. I don't know. I'm going to have to look and see. See, that's a hard one. Like, I love the magic, but I love the skull. And I think the skull really... I like the, the evilness of the skull. I might see if I can't put the skull and do some kind of magic-ish looking thing around it, like um, expand the whole magic design a little bit. So you've got the magic around the skull, like, because she's got the crown later on. And I'm doing the crown and the um, scepter. I don't think that's called a triton. Triton. I am smart, I swear. <laughs> That's a bold face lie. <laughs> Anyways, I am doing those in gold. I was considering switching to silver, and I think silver would be pretty, but I like the gold. I love the the symbolism behind the gold. I am removing the yellow gold from the little square thingies up here. No, I, I hated that the moment I saw it. I just feel like the coloring's off. I know he... He did it to try and tie in the gold. I think the crown and the trident being gold works because they're both actually metal. So I don't think you need the actual coloring up here to like tie it in. So we will see what happens with that. But I don't feel I'm also changing the style of the crown. I don't like the crown that he designed. Well, I mean, I don't hate the crown he designed or anything like that. I just I want a bolder crown. 
he did a simple it's supposed to kind of be resemblance uh, not resemblance um oh word gone yeah nope not there it's just full-on gone sorry about that guys uh representation representation whereas i want it to be more like that's why i want the skull here and why i think i want the magic going around it like she has his skull and that's why she now has his crown here you know and that crown is you know falling down on her head because of the magic i think that's the impression that i want to give more yeah that's definitely the impression i want to give more so that's what i'm going for with that um I still have, let's see here, I've put in four and a half hours, I think, five hours, so I still have a few more hours to go, so we'll see what I get to, um, yeah, but that portion is done, excited to move on to a new portion, so I'll see you in a sec, and we'll see how far I get. Hear that annoying sound? That's supposed to be my... Uh, washer in the spin cycle. Nothing is spinning. Yeah. Dirty clothes, dirty clothes, d -d 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 dirty clothes. Sorry. Um, so yeah. Spin cycle not working. Lovely. Everything falls apart all at once. This is life, people. This is life. Uh, this, in case you're wondering, is what is known as a portable washer. It, as you can see, has a hose. That is my fridge. Yeah, it's a tiny fridge. It's just me. I don't need a bigger fridge. But it's a tiny fridge. This hose is hooked up to the sink. I will not show you the sink. The sink is full of dishes right now. But I live in... 300 square foot apartment, which I'm sure I've mentioned before. So this is what I have. It's a portable washer. I unhook it and hook it up to the sink. And it is not spinning right now. This guy right here is the dryer. It's tiny. It does the job. I'm just me. I don't need, like, seriously two small loads a week. That's like what I do. And as you can see, the dryer's vented, and I open up the window. But yeah, it was spinning, at least at one point, for a few minutes, because the clothing did get somewhat spun out, but it's still, like, a lot wetter than it normally would be. Again, I'm not gonna show you the clothing too awful up close. It's like, you know, it's intimates, okay? It's the intimates, mostly. So, uh, I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know what to do with it. Yeah. On a different note, we will, hold on. Whoosh, hand, hand, hand. So that you don't have to see a massive mess. This, of course, is my sewing area. I just bought, <laughs> another reason that is so annoying that that just went out. I just bought a table that's coming this coming week. It will be higher so that I can stand when sewing instead of sitting. My feet are swelling like none other right now. And sitting there sewing makes not my right foot but my left foot because my right foot is uh, doing the pedal. So it makes my left foot, which sits over on this side, swell up to like the size of a like a grapefruit and I'm just like ah oh, and it's not comfortable feeling I have tried everything under the Sun that I can think of to get my feet to stop swelling if you know something please let me know because I have tried pretty much everything I can think of I've reduced salt intake I've done the ice water bath I've done compression socks I've done uh, taken magnesium, I've done taken potassium, I take water pills, I do... Uh, I can't think of anything else. I 
I've tried like a dozen different things. If you go on Google and there's a list of like a dozen things or so that says, hey, try this for swollen feet. I have tried them all. None of them work. So if you know of something that's not your basic on Google thing, let me know. Let this person right there know. Because I am so sick of swollen feet. They suck ass. Um, they're not as bad in the winter right now. It is hot AF. Um, moving over here. This is my, my, yeah, ironing area. And then this stuff goes down for photographs. Small space. You have to create it to where multiple things can be done in one spot. But... I keep this guy up here, 76, 76 in my house. I have a cooler. My cooler sucks ass. It is, and it's a hot summer. Like seriously, it's supposed to be, it was 90 degrees for several days last month. It is supposed to be uh, 90 degrees a few days this month. We usually get like three days of 90 degrees in August. I don't even want to know what August is going to be like, but that is oh, neither here nor there. Going to have to deal with it. Anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this clip. I actually can show you a little bit of something. Look, actually, we'll show you. Run through. Uh, these are my art books that I've been making, but over here. Sorry, I had to bend down. I did put in a little bit more time last night. I got the school started. I have two, two and a half hours, something like that left in my eight hour stretch. I'm gonna keep going until I get this school done and then get some of the basics of the swirl around with the magic. Um, I'm probably gonna have to extend it because I bet the magic swirl is about where the school is at. So I'm going to extend the magic swirl around just a little bit. Uh, because I want the magic swirl to go around the skull. Because I'm a weirdo like that. <laughs> but yeah. I want to get that basic done before I put her up. Um, I seem to have gotten crap on my... Hmm... Come here, little thread. There we go. Yeah. Just Aaron. Aaron of Autumn Lane Citry. Him and Cassandra run Autumn Lane Citry. He designed this just amazing, amazing artist. This design um, started off, you know, everybody kind of doing the same thing. And then you get up here and it's, you know, topless or not topless. And then it's like, oh, here's different hair colors and here's different face. and everybody went ooh cool and they just ran with it and have done their own thing with their own designs and have just been loving it I mean it is one thing to be an amazing artist which he most definitely is it is quite another to be able to inspire with your art in the way that he does and it's yeah I, I don't think he realizes just how unusual that is and how amazing that is that he can do that so Autumn Lane Stitchery definitely something in which I will be doing more of in the future for sure still don't like this <sighs> might need to pull white in a little bit more here pull that out put a little more white in I don't know. It's not working the way I want to do. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, that'll be it for this clip now, actually, finally this time. So I'll probably be back with more work on this, so see you in a sec.
And here we are. I've got the school done. I've got the blue portion of the like swirl so you're kind of getting an idea of a little bit more and I added in some blue to kind of make more. I'm I don't know, I started the black. I'm actually looking at it now, kind of wondering if I want to maybe just do just a little bit more. I have to be careful because this side here has the, the little corner pieces, so it can only go out so far. So I'm not sure I was going to put in the black. Hard to say. Um, I'm going to put in the black in this area before I uh, set her aside and work on something else. I've got eight hours I need to do on my Half Moon Oracle Shaw, uh, which means getting it started. So um, it's what, like the 20th or something right now? Not sure what day it is. I don't have very many days left to put in those those hours so but yeah that is that for right now um I've got two orders done this I love this fabric I think this is a gorgeous fabric I got these two here I've also got an additional order for these guys which are fabric huggers they just like you take this and you wrap it around the edge and it holds it in place and you can use that with or without a um yeah grime guard grime guards are technically for the dirt and oil keeping it like the stuff on your hands keeping it off but a lot of people use grime guards to tuck their fabric in. Um, these sorts of things will actually hold it better. So, and I entertained myself this morning and created this guy. This guy is kind of a cash envelope system, except I don't use cash. So, it has little budget sheets in it and the budget sheets well I still have to get them started but the budget sheets will allow me to keep track of my funds a little bit more I'm been a little bit lazy about it I know I've been needing to find something else to do uh, to kind of keep it more organized so and so I put this together and it's a fun and it makes me happy and I use happy planner rings and the little uh, hole punch guy because I have one of those because I used to do major happy planner stuff still use the happy planner a lot but I don't have it set up for budgeting right now. It's set up for uh, keeping track of my to-do list and uh, keeping track of what I eat, which I have not done the past few days. Keeping track of whip go goals, keeping track of just goals for different projects that I'm working on, those sorts of things. Um, so yeah. That is where I'm at with all of this stuff. And I think I'm actually going to end the vlog here. I don't have much of anything else to... Oh, I do have to tell you real quick. Um, do, 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 washer. I unplugged it, plugged it back in, and then did a wash wash where all I did was pour in bleach and vinegar to actually clean out the machine because you have to do that on occasion because those machines can get a little yucky if you don't do that 
spin cycle worked. It was great. Super happy about it. So, yeah. Washer's working fine. Makes me happy. Um, I never mentioned, so I figured I probably should. Down below in the description box, I do have my link tree. It has links such as uh, my eBay store, of course it's my Etsy store, uh, my Redbubble store. It's also got a buy me a coffee link. Um, it's also got a direct link for if you want to sign up for Etsy. It gives you free listings and me free listings. Uh, I'm going to put a couple other things on it. One thing I want to put on it is my Amazon wish list, but I need to go through and get that sorted out because my Amazon wish list is... Um, goodness knows what's on it. <laughs> it's probably got stuff from 10 years ago that I have no clue I ever wanted at one point in time. Because that's how much I keep up with it. But I want to put... Um, I want to, one thing, use it as a place where I just kind of keep a lot of things I need. I want to put things like printer ink on it and paper I might use, uh, office supplies I might use, those sorts of things. Um, nobody really, I don't know, has mentioned it. It's just other channels do it, so I figured I should too. Uh, and if you have a thought about that, let me know. I'm always happy to read a comment for sure. Don't give me any of those. Uh, anything else? Oh, my Robin Hood link is down there. Uh, just in case, if you are thinking of getting into Robin Hood, not necessarily through me, find your favorite YouTuber, Go to your family member that uses it, whatever the case may be, and go through one of their links because it gives you a free stock and it gives them a free stock. So it's totally worth it to make sure that you find um, somebody to use their link to go through if that is something that you're interested in. Uh, yeah, random. Uh, yeah, it's going on here because it's all I've got at the moment. So yeah, gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. We'll be starting the next vlog with, I don't know, um, maybe finishing up the black sorrel here, maybe starting the half moon oracle shaw, I don't really know, but it will be something. Um, yeah, so that'll be it for now, and I will be seeing you later. Bye.